Another indicator tonight that the revitalization of downtown Youngstown continues. Over the next six months, six new restaurants will open. That's a lot of restaurant space all coming at one time, which begs the question, is that too much competition? More restaurants downtown. It's our top story at 11. Joe Thomas was this afternoon putting up a TV mount for his new restaurant and bar, Whistle and Keg, which he will open with his brother Mike in the next few days in downtown Youngstown with its wall of 44 beer and wine taps. Well, what we're doing here is a self-service uh, tap room. Whistle and Keg is one of six new restaurants opening in the next six months within a three block area of downtown Youngstown. Two of them will be in the Doubletree Hotel, currently under construction in the old Stanball building and scheduled to open in March. One will be a family style Italian restaurant, the other run by hotel operator Marshall. Also, Ryan Sheridan, owner of Breaking Point Recovery Center, hopes to have the Cove open by Thanksgiving in the first floor of the Wick Building. One of the six restaurants will be going here into the first floor of the Erie Terminal Place. The Kitchen Post, now located in Struthers, will be relocating to downtown. So come downtown and eat some food because good things are happening. Jack Zizzo is excited about the new restaurant he's opening in a small kitchen in the back of the draft house. He's calling it Space Cat in the draft house. Focus on barbecue uh, and smoked meats, but there's going to be a lot of influence from worldly cuisines. Anything to bring more foot traffic down here is good for everyone. Jordan Karsmer has been working at Roberto's Italian restaurant for five years. Can there be too much competition? Depends, but um, as of right now, no. I don't think there's a such thing down here. Not right now. I don't think there's any such thing as, as too much. You know, uh, it, it's not an overly saturated market. Whistle and keg, the one with all the taps. The owners have the old ship whistle used at Youngstown Sheet and Tube. Eventually, they plan to blow it every day at noon and at 4 p.m.